hi welcome back to my channel so this is a new method of making liquid soap this is actually a client order this is before i added the perfume and the color the client requested for sit back and enjoy hello so today these are the ingredients to be using for the chemicals to be using for liquid soap this is sulfonic acid this is the perfume soda ash sls STPP. This is the color making the blue color. This is nitroso caustic soda and the example. So first thing first, I'm going to put some two liters of water here, two liters of water here and here. Then I'm going to mix the chemicals. Okay. One, two, one. So in here, I'll start dropping the chemicals. I'll start to see. SLS, the rice. I'll start with it first. This will make it dissolve. And I'm going to pour in the soda ash. In here, it's going to dissolve. And the last but not the least, the caustic soda. Make sure none is going to touch your skin, okay? Be extremely careful with this. You can wear gloves if you want. That's for me. I like sticking. So, this is a caustic soda. So, I'm going to pack all this. And dispose them properly. So I'm going to stir the rice. So the ash. So right now I'm going to pour in about 30 liters of water to this big butter. This is a plastic butter. It doesn't react with any of the chemical. So while making your liquid, so make sure you use something that does not re react to chemical. Okay. So I'm going to add the nitrosol. This is the first thing you add to when making your liquid soap. So the nitrosol looks like milk milk like um, physically but it's not milk please so i'm going to add it to the water this is the first thing you add and i'm using 200 grams of nitrosol stir for about 15 to 20 minutes how do you know when your nitrosol is ready to add another chemical when it's jelly like milky jelly like in the water it will become it will change form to become gel like as you can see in this video you can see it has thickened kinda it's looking like gel consistency i'll be adding the caustic soda remember we added it to this bowl before we started the mixing of the nature so so all you have to do now is to stir i'm going to stir it for about eight to ten minutes I'm, after that i'm going to soak the stpp This is the STPP. I'm 
This is a sulfonic. I'm adding it to this bucket. This is one and a half liters. Sulfonic acid. Legs are fun. It's very big. It's mossy. Turn on the sulfonic. sulfonic, add water, shake to bring out everything from here out. This is the STPP. So, here is the title form um, and uh, the so just set them aside now back to the liquid soap making right now i'm going to pour in the soda ash soda ash is actually a very good cleaning agent that's what makes your plate clean when you wash it it breaks down oil it brings out dates from stuff as you can see my 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 soda ash has some little particles of soda ash that is yet to dissolve but it does not matter because most part of it has dissolved as soon as it hits the liquid soap the remaining um segments of it dissolves so stir and mix for about 15 minutes again It's been 15 minutes. I'm going to add the SLS into the liquid soup. It has completely dissolved. I always rinse out anything I use to soak the chemical. It kind of increases the quantity of soap you are making. And moreover, the soap will be very, very thick. So later on, before I supply it to the client, I'm going to add some good quantity of water if you are making soap for selling you cannot be making it too thick because you are going to run the loss of it so as you can see the foaming has really really increased the next part is to add the stpp which we just soaked some particles of it are still remaining but never mind all you have to do is to pour it into the soap and stay is going to dissolve immediately because you already have the caustic soda in the soap stir for 10 to 15 minutes again as you can see so the quantity of the soap is increasing a lot so this is the texapon and the sulfonic acid that's properly married together you can see the bubbles that are is already coming out on it this acts as a foam booster as a thickener for your soup so i'm going to add the water that i use in rinsing out the container where the sulfonic is so after that i'm going to rinse it and pour it into the liquid soap as well after which i'm going to stir and mix it for 10 to 15 minutes again 
So when I start stirring this sulfonic and texapon that I added to the soup, this foam is going to come up very high from the butter. It's as if the soap is foaming out, then it's going to come down. After which this chemical reaction will lead to the soap to become very thick. The foam, it will boost the foam as you are seeing now. It's going to boost the foaming of the soap. Then after some time it's going to sediment then the soap will become very thick to stir as you can see i'm putting a lot of effort to make to stir the soap it's very 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 thick right now the soap is sedimenting it's coming down the foam is coming down you can see how thick it is So now it has come down, I've mixed it for about 15 minutes now. So let me show you how the consistency of this soap is, look at how thick it is. That means I'll be adding about 20 to 15 liters of water to it because it's too damn thick. I'm going to put the perfume and the color very soon. Depending on the perfume your client wants, I'm going to scoop out some quantity of the soap and I'm going to pour in the perfume in it. This perfume is a very special type. It's not the citrus type that I used to use. It's more of a peppermint um, fragrance. It's very, very concentrated and very nice. So because of it's very, very concentrated, I have to pour it in a small portion of the soap first before I transfer it to the big portion of the soap look at how foamy this soap is it's super super foamy and it's still thick anyways i'm going to add the color because i've stirred um i've stirred it for like five minutes since i added the perfume i'll be adding the color the client wants a sky blue color for the soap i'm going to mix the color with two liters of water this is an oil based color it's best for your soap it doesn't give it any kind of strange um, fragrance in the last in your soap. It doesn't change color. So when you pour in the color in the in the mixing bowl where you are going to mix before you pour into the big liquid soap, stir first before you pour it into the liquid soap. So when you pour it into the liquid soap, stir for about five more minutes then your soap is ready that is all it takes to make a liquid soap so this is our liquid soap this is for a client i didn't add preservative to this neither do i did i use a foam booster because i added a large quantity of hexapon and the sulfonic so i didn't really have any need to use a foam booster or preservative the, the, the client wants to supply it to a hotel or thereabouts, so it's not going to take too long for them to use it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed. If you have any question, please leave it in the description box. I'll be very willing and honest to answer your question. Thank you so much. See you in my next video. Bye.